Hi, so we are here at Dikarai MCHI Grand Property Expo 2022. I am with three founders, co-founders of PropTech companies which are transforming the Indian real estate. I have with me Abhishek Kiran Gupta. Hi Abhishek, how are you? All well, thank you. Good Fantastic. evening. Fantastic. This is going to be a very informal chat here. We already had a formal panel discussion. And I have with me on my left is Kiran Shah. Hi, how are you guys? And we have another you know, very, very exciting. I just learned about his venture. It's called Home Exchange. We have Jaisal here. Hi Jaisal. Hi, how are you doing? This is Jaisal Sangvi. Jason Sagwe. So my prop tech journey, my learning started about what four years back or five years back when I ran into uh, Abhishek and I was uh, made aware of a, the platform and the product called CRE Metric, right? That's how we met and from then we have become good friends and I've been learning and I happen to work with his father who's Vipul Shah. Uh, you are the, the little bit of a new first time I'm meeting you. So we will be making very informal because we all already had a formal talk and I'm having the return of asset classes a report which has been uh, presented by CRE metrics and indexer which is both his companies and platform and Kedai MCHI. So let's keep this very informal. The formal uh, uh, panel already has started. I'm going to ask something more about their personal lives right now. Something about what Abhishek kind of drives you <laughs> other than prop tech because I know you're eating, sleeping, drinking only, you know, data and business. So what, what, what do you like other than prop tech? Okay, if it is totally outside real estate, outside real estate, then my divine god, everything is Lata Mangeshkar. Lata Mangeshkar. I before in the car, it's her. At home, it's her. Abhi unka birthday tha. Right. And uh, my son, when I went home, matra late I'm office and I, I said, Arey Lata ka birthday, let me listen to her. Bolta hai, Papa, every day Lata ka birthday hamare ghar mein. What listen to her? Every day is her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So because you know, prop tech is such a uh, you know a very serious uh, matter. Uh, it's a very uh, it, it consumes a lot of mind space. So we want to make it a little lighter. Kenneth, you are a very young boy. Uh, as I said, I worked with his father. Uh, tell us what 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 excites you other than prop returns. Uh, it's just sports like football. I love football. I play a lot of football. I think just sports gives you that excitement in life. Yeah, the kind of high which also business gives you. But apart yeah, from that, talk less about business. Yeah, less about business. But yeah, yeah, correct. So sports. I just love sports, and sports. I play it all the time. Any, any, any specific sports? Football, football. Yeah, football. Yeah, football. I'm a football. <laughs> Already, I play a lot of FIFA, real FIFA. I play a lot of FIFA. <laughs> yeah. And what is your? Uh, I mean, uh, we follow FIFA. Which is your cricket team, your country, your team? Oh, I, I don't support any like particular team, but I love how Barcelona plays, Real Madrid plays. Yeah, I love, I just love watching football and playing football. I don't support any particular side. Yeah. So you want to play with Ranveer Kapoor? Why not? Always. <laughs> Real estate. Bollywood real estate. So I'll tell you that at least the last uh, year and a half I will be building this business. I must tell you that there is very little time to pursue a lot of the things you care about. And you have to give that time and attention to a new venture, right? And things will stabilize. But I'm very fond of uh, the outdoors. Uh, I used to run a lot before, uh, you know, I've been running for eight, nine years now. Um, I don't do full marathons, I do half marathons, so that has been an interest area. Very uh, lately, I have, uh, you know, a few years before uh, starting this venture, I picked up scuba diving. Unfortunately, I thought I would get up to a lot of goals in terms of how, where I want to travel, but that has not happened. But, you know, hopefully we'll continue on that journey as well. Other than that, I like uh, music and spending time with family. Uh, big foodie. So, so I, I, I want to ask this, right? Because there is founders and co-founders of a prop tech, it's a lot of stress and a lot of time. So how do you give time to the family? We'll start with you. Right. How do we spend time with the family? How do you give time? Because you got to give time and they spend time, right? Because I, that's my complaint. Like, my wife is complaining that all the time you're with the bike, without the bike, uh, 
So I think I think you have to find time for the family. So I think what happens is the the interest may suffer, but giving time to the family really? still has to happen, right? Really? So I can't go and scuba dive or I can't go and run, which is also not good because you should focus on your health. Yeah. You should not be so immersed. Uh, if you are alert in your uh, you know physical uh, activity, you will be alert in your mind, and it's really good because stress is not necessarily always negative. It's also the positive energy that can be very overpowering at times, right? Because you're so excited, the sleepless nights with positive thoughts is also a very real thing, right? So giving time to family, you have to find. I think that is a non-compromisable thing. You might have to give up on some other things that you are, you know, you can't go and travel. But health and family, you have to kind of think about. Very good, uh, very nice. Then, uh, Abhishek, since we spoke about Bollywood, right? Uh, as I said, we're going to keep this off the business. So we having a lot of this uh, Bollywood boycott happening, and a कुछ नया भी trend शुरू हो गया. Everybody has become a critic, you know. जैसे real estate के अंदर भी लोग बोलते थे, right? They don't have this data, they don't have these analysis. अरे बहुत supply है, माल नहीं बिकेगा. You know, बहुत you know all that stuff, right? Same thing is happening with Bollywood. So since you touched about Bollywood, that's what drives me. I'm a completely a Bollywood uh, uh, follower, a fan, uh, whatever. So what is you want to say something about? All this hashtag boycott this boycott that. What is and you are a yourself a Lata Mangeshkar fan. So anything on that you would like to say? Okay. See, my formative years have been in United States. So I to support absolutely support freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Just just call. देखो लोग तो बोलेंगे ये भी बॉलीवुड का डायलॉग है, right? लोग तो बोलेंगे ही. तो उनको तो चुप कराना पॉसिबल ही नहीं है. तो let them speak as long as you're not infringing into my personal space. जबरदस्ती एंड लाइक पाउंडिंग एट मी तो आई एम आई एम आई एम आई एम सपोर्टर ऑफ यू नो आई एम नॉट आई एम नॉट सपोर्ट सपोर्टिंग बॉयकॉट्स बट आई एम सेइंग बट इफ यू हैव समथिंग टू से गिव योर ओपिनियन सो वेदर इट्स अ बॉयकॉट एक्स वाई जेड एज लॉन्ग एज जीरो इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू बी अफेक्टिंग द बिजनेस एंड यू नो व्हाट यू आर डूइंग राइट सो इफ यू आर राइट आई थिंक दैट इज अ वेरी वैलिड पॉइंट सो फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड दिस इज ऑल इवन अबाउट यू नो इंडिया इज अ फ्री मार्केट राइट सो आई विल वांट टू आस्क सम अदर This is completely exam board, so jokes from mind me are. I'm saying, I'm asking. So, we won't talk about sports. We won't talk about sports. I think we want to talk something about, you know, the new age. We're talking to a millennial now. What is your thought on? Uh, we will talk about real estate. For a bit, because we are here at a prop expo. What is your take on the millennials' uh, thinking right now? Because I heard, you know, you saying about you have not yet bought a property, right? Sorry? You have not not yet bought that first property. You realize it? Yeah. No, I'm, there was a question which was asked. Why property? Why property? Is the answer itself? No, 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 no. I would not. I mean, you will not. The the entire mindset of millennials is, I think, people prefer. I mean, people have understood that you know why. I mean, especially the rate at which salary is increasing, right? Uh, home rates are increasing faster. People understand that you know. It's not worth it, and people love renting. People want that. I mean, mi millennials want freedom. Millennials are very calculative. I think that's they don't have that emotional appeal. So we had a one session before that. Okay, so that's that's with us. I think it will be a, a journey in your life, right? So at his age, he might not be thinking about it. At a different age, because you know, when you are interacting with your family, also you are interacting in your certain space, right? Right. Right. At the end of the day, the way your children will grow, once I have children. they will associate the family with that house right? right and i don't think every family prefers unless suddenly they are in a services job or the transferring between obviously abhishek came from the us i moved from the us you have to transition right but you know you don't want to be moving homes every 3 years with kids and which means they have to change school sometimes or you know it might be inconvenient so there is some value to owning a home when you are at a certain age and and for that it might be 32 years of age for me and for him it might be 36 right all of those are Right. But having said that, you know, if no one buys homes, then who will be rented from? <laughs> right. So, right. So, so. Right. 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 Right
then you won't care so much about कि वो मेरा घर ऐसा होना चाहिए कि वैसा होना चाहिए right then you will say कि यार ठीक है you know that like US is a big multi-family for rental market right which is very standardized right and a lot of large corporations own it but then it will not make economic sense and property values will have to be different because that works very different economically right Let's end this very quickly. We are here at the uh, property uh, fair. A lot of efforts have uh, been put in by the organizers, by all our partners. Uh, how has been your experience, Kiran? You, Abhishek, you took part. Uh, you have been a part of Kredai, you know, with all your research reports. Uh, you have a stall here. How, how has been? This is the third day. We have one more day. How has been your response? And what is, you know, how, what, what do you like to say about this event? So, couple of things. One, this is home for me because one, I'm being knowledge partners with them for last. Together, Credi, MCHI, and CRE Matrix have written more than dozen reports. Wow! Right in this last eight nine months. Wow! So these are all friends or clients. So this is home. It's so very very comfortable. Stall to hai, so wo to thik hai. That's just to you know. To keep, we we want visibility. वो तो वो तो करना वो तो करना ही था. कितना भी कर लो. And then आप मुरी कॉल होने के बाद करने वाले हो. Then of course, uh, uh, Bowman bhai and Dawal bhai were there. They asked us to write this report within like a week back. Wow. And we said okay, fine, we'll do it. Um, so uh, yeah, it's uh, so that's. <laughs> It is difficult to say no. See, the problem is when you have these. Ah, ये no बोलना एक बड़ा problem हो जाता है. Right? So that's so good. So you're right. And 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 the whole thing fell in the at night. Yes. Yes. They resurrected the whole thing. Double by was here himself at 1:30. I know. I know. I know. Right? He was here back in the morning at 10:30. Yeah. Lot of comments. Lot of comments. No, no. So this is 40-year-old organization. So 30th, 30th. I've been here every day from 8 to 8. Wow. Right? So boss, ये तो मतलब ये annual affair है यार. ये तो करना ही पड़ेगा. Uh, okay, big boss is <laughs> big boss is back, right? So your experience. Uh, uh, I mean, it's my first property expo. Although my company's been not more than one and a half years, so it it will be my first expo. Uh, but amazing experience, great, great uh, networking opportunity, energy, right? great energy, great energy, and just it, it's good to have you know young people like myself. Yeah, yeah, problem like this. We have been standing here for old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I've not learned what you guys have learned. I just started, you know, just randomly. So, I mean, that's a learning experience. What you guys have taken? Yes, sir. How old is how how old is your company, your startup? So, so this is going to be your first expo, obviously, because we uh, the pandemic was there. So we are all we are obviously uh, it's going to be your first expo, right? So, what is your take? How, how will you like? So we have not participated in this one. I've come more as a panelist, and I'll be walking around the expo now. And you know, we had participated in another event very recently, and it was a phenomenal experience for us, right? As a first expo, I mean, the kind of energy we had in our teams and we saw at the expo was something that we absolutely, absolutely cherished. The pro, the thing is that whether it's this expo, whether it's the other expo, right? I mean, we have come out of two years of COVID. Everyone has been operating isolation, so you know every developer has been selling their own product uh, in isolation with a lot of different strategies. It's a very, very good thing for the industry that everyone has been able to come together and create this environment where people can come, customers can come, channel partners can come, and you know ultimately no one operates in silos, right? And it's very good for the industry. So we also are really enjoying it. Right. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, Uh, they all going to be unicorns very soon. I don't know about him. I'm sure they want to buy a lot of property. And I think, as you said, life journey. When his wife got married, right? When his wife came, he told her to buy it. He bought it, boy. Yeah. So nice talking to all of you, and keep watching us. And thank you for watching. Thank you.